Girl, you can't even see it. Girl, where is the hairline at? Where do we put it? I don't know. Can you find her? No. in between I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 mm. hold on oh it's good though I don't even want to tell y'all what I'm drinking but I'm gonna tell y'all it's protein milk and apple juice it tastes like apple pie y'all don't talk about me please you shouldn't even worry about that girl what's on the top of my head is the full attraction look at her look at her please and can you believe it's glueless friend it's glueless a comb can't go up under here but it's glueless believe me before we go ahead and get into all this hair stuff and we get into my new scalp i'm gonna ask y'all a quick question because y'all subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs and stuff please girl oh also i forgot to ask y'all how y'all doing hopefully y'all are doing great y'all let me know how you're doing down below also let me know what you're drinking and if it's something weird please let me know because that makes me feel better about myself girl this this hair is turning me upside down and inside out and show me what it's all about and i want to say thank you to nadula hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video this wig on my head is a 13 by 4 pre everything kinky straight put on and go glueless wig yes i say glueless wig the wig is 24 inches long and 150 percent density now when you pop the hood on this wig you can see that it comes with three combs adjustable straps in the back and it also comes with a silicone band at the back of the wig which allows the wig to stay in place so it was not flipping and flopping all over the place it also comes with a piano key elastic band that you're able to remove and so you can wear this wig completely glueless girl no adhesive no gel no nothing when i pulled the wig out of the box i saw that this wig had everything when they say pre everything they mean pre-cut lace pre-plucked hairline, pre-bleached knots, and it also comes with a very, very thin, it says invisible lace, but we'll go ahead and get into the lace in a little bit. When they say put on and go, sometimes they mean, girl, you can put it on and go if you want to. I was looking for a put on and go, girl, get up out of here. So if you wanna see how I applied this wig and how I got this wig to be glueless and look like this, like this, I mean, come on. Please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts some styles that you can do with this wig and a cool okay y'all let's go ahead and get started with the base i was thinking about not wearing my wig grip today but baby the back of my head girl it goes nowhere so i need to put on a wig grip or something i don't even like this wig grip but this is what we using so i'm gonna pop this on we're gonna pop on a wig cap right on top and i'm gonna pull this wig cap a little bit further forward because i feel like we're gonna have to use they gave us some tape girl we will be masking our wigs down, like masking, taping it down, double sticky, girl. This is a wig. Look how big and fluffy and long this is, girl. Look at this. Okay, let me go ahead and pop this on. I have the elastic band in there. Let's see if it fits. Girl, I'll be nervous. First impressions, it's not too shabby. Okay, okay. I can vibe with it. I, I see. Look at this hairline, plucked. Lace, she's a little bit light. She's gonna need a little bit of lace tint. The knots are pre-bleached, but like you can kind of see them if you get close, but not too much. They not all up in your face, girl. They not knocking at your front door. Let's just deal with the first step, girl. We need to get this scalp looking like scalp. So we're gonna go ahead and use our lace tint mousse. I was thinking about using my new lace tint mousse. Okay, so y'all know lately I've been using the Dola Hair lace tint mousse. I love this mousse. She is a little orange. So, I was thinking about trying a new lace tint mousse. Now, I probably shouldn't do this, but I have this one. This is the More Crazy 3-in-1 Lace Tint Melting Mousse. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to the lace, right? And what it's supposed to do is make your lace blend into the skin. Like, I love the way this lace is laying on my skin. Like, it looks like it should blend because it's very, very fine. It's very thin. There's not a lot of texture to it. Let's go ahead and take the wig off. If you haven't used lace tint before, let me show you, girl. So, I'm gonna turn my wig inside out, and then we're gonna start with the mousse they said shake it first i had to read the directions do y'all read directions because i do i'm just gonna hmm that color is different 
Girl, please don't let me regret this, Jesus. And I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just going to blend it into the lace. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like a popsicle. I hope to God this is not too dark because I'm putting a lot on here, girl. Oopsie, tasty. It didn't say blow dry it on high and warm. It just said dry it, girl. Girl, ain't nobody letting this air dry, girl. I gotta get outside. It's warm. I'm gonna take my blow dryer on high and warm to set the color. Okay, so I added the lace scent, right? And right now it looks it's looking okay. But let's see if it if it if it really did what it's supposed to have did. And if it's given what it's supposed to have get. Girl, don't tell me that this mousse been my skin tone the whole time and I be walking around with an orange peel on my forehead. <sighs> look at this lace tint. Girl, look at look at how that lace is blending into my skin. Like, I'm not even, are we okay? Wow. <laughs> I love it. I'll leave it down below. Hold on, let me take this off, girl. I'm starting to sweat. It's warm outside. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna be 80 degrees today, so. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and flatten this hairline. So we're just gonna re-flatten it. I'm gonna pull this wig back, okay? And we're gonna take the She Is Bomb hair collection, the She Is Bomb collection hair wax stick. She's a little push pop wax stick. I think they should do better than that. I do not want to be pushed. I just did my press ons. And y'all asking me to push this up. I don't like it. I'm just gonna add the wax stick to the hairline. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Red by Kiss hot comb and we're gonna hit this hairline a little bit. Now I pull it back because I'm not burning my forehead. I don't know who you girls are that can just hot comb a wig on your forehead, but y'all, it's some sorcery. Y'all, y'all skin is made of steel, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all the difference. I just want y'all to know the difference. The wigs come like this now, but I'm telling you, just a re-flatation, just a re-flatation will do it. Wow, wow. Oh, that's a little straight back. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna go ahead and flatten it, and then we're gonna go in and just lay this thing on down. But this is what the hairline looks like. Now I'm trying to figure out, am I gonna taper down? What are we gonna do? I don't know, like I don't feel like spraying it down. And I wanna see what the tape will do. Let's see what it's talking about. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put these on the ear tabs. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna, I was thinking about putting it on my whole forehead, but I can't be doing that. But maybe I need to wax stick my edges because last time I didn't wax stick them and they ended up getting caught on my edges. And I think if I add a little wax stick, they'll just slip right off my edges. So this is the tape here. How you do it is you add the tape to the lace and then you stick it. Okay, so you take the tape, open it on up. Not even pulling the hair back. Hold on, let me pull this hair back. Okay, we're gonna take the lace. Go make sure it's stuck, okay? I like to press it, honey. You just take the little blue sticker off. I try to make sure my face stayed oily, so I could easily take this tape off, because baby, when I say it's secure, it is secure. And I'm gonna take it and then pull the lace down and then place it. Okay. Girl, what? It's down, don't tug too hard. Hold on. Oh no, it's coming up, hold on. Oh, it was the wax stick that did it. Okay, I wonder if it'll stick to that. It may look better, hold on. Well, for the opposite side, I'm gonna do it right and I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. I don't use alcohol on my forehead because girl, I like my skin. Alcohol be seeming like a lot. Just some apple cider vinegar, just to get rid of that little residue, we're gonna let that dry. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, okay? Girl, I feel like I'm an expert now. Make sure she is down. Okay, this side is down. Oh girl, she's much more secure. Now, I didn't move it down as low as I needed to, so this part is flopping up. I should have lowered it, but either way, that's why we got the Red by Kiss spray. We just gonna spray it down real quick. Uh uh. Oh, oh, okay. Not my whole forehead, child. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna let that sit right there. I love how easy that was, though. Just a little tape, not messy. We love to see it. This is a little crazy. On a doula, girl. You over here trying to impress the girls. I see what you're doing. I catch it, 
And I'm throwing it back to you. I'm about to impress you too. This wig's about to be real cute. Right now, baby, this is glueless. Glueless. What are we talking about? We're gonna lay down some baby hairs and that's gonna add a little extra security to the roots here. To lay down my baby hairs, I'm gonna use bowl hold. Hear me out. It's a gel, basically. Put it on a little baby hair brush like some toothpaste. <laughs> Girl, please. I'm just gonna lay down, I'm gonna take some hairs out while we're here. And we're gonna lay down some baby hairs. Then we're gonna get to styling, girl. That's gonna be it, girl. And I'm gonna pull this one out over here, too. Just to make sure we're even. Pull that right on out. So I got me some tweezers. These are Kiss tweezers. And I'm just going to pluck these baby hairs so that they look like a little bit more natural. Girl, they're kind of real thin. Like, that's a little bit too thin. Because the hairline was already plucked. So I kind of did too much. <laughs> I'm just going to pluck it a little bit more on this side. Girl, they, they actually look real thin. I'm a little bit scared. Like, what was I doing? <laughs> you see how thin that is? Girl, that's like three hairs. So we're just going to go ahead and take our any shears. And I'm just going to cut. Okay, I'm going to cut them short too. Like, I like short, thin baby hairs. Okay, so we're going to take the little bow hole like some toothpaste. Yeah, lay down these way. Yeah, like this. Ooh, y'all see what I'm talking about? I don't know what y'all natural baby hairs look like, but mine look more like this, girl. They got space bars. <laughs> it's a space bar between each hair. And then I'm just gonna take the little excess bow hole and I'm gonna just, you know, press it a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. Like a nice. A nice little thin baby hair. We love to see it. Okay, so I'm gonna do another one. And I wanna do like a little swoop doop doop down the edges. I've been liking not just two, cause I used to do two, but it would look like there were acres between my baby hairs. And I don't really like that look. So I'm gonna go, yeah, I think like right here. That's, that look good. I'm gonna pluck this as well and do. Cut it short. I think that's a little bit longer than I like. Take my little bow hold toothpaste. Okay, and then just lay it all down a little bit. Ooh, it's a little bit lower than I would like. Oh, that's very pretty. I like it. And then the last one we're gonna do on the ear tabs where the tape is. So we're gonna do the same thing here, plucking. Ooh, girl, just pulled it off my head. And cut it down. Once again, very short. Oh, girl, this was short. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's giving naturalista. Or actually, actually, I did that on purpose. Actually, girl, these ear tabs be looking like it's about to crawl into my ear. Not like that. That's not my cup. Oh, T. See that? Can I see it? I think that looks cute. What you think? What you think, friend? I think it looks cute. I think it looks natural. Yeah, not just brushing on back. And we got ourselves a nice, secure baby hair hairline. Your wig ain't gonna be going nowhere now. Somebody got, if somebody got beef with you, girl, you may be back here, but they're gonna have to try a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and pluck and lay. We're gonna make this side look like this side, which this side is really cute. Come on, hairline. Let's do this side and then I will be back. nothing to say it looks uh, uh, amazing oh my god so the only thing that we need to do is kind of conceal this wig cap because the wig cap is front and center okay it's right here i'll be seeing it in my videos but i don't really be caring i'm gonna go ahead and use my mac makeup stick stick foundation it's the studio fix foundation and nc50 this is the perfect color for the scalp and we're just gonna conceal just a little bit we're just gonna we're just gonna go in there just a little bit just blend it a little bit so nobody will be talking about me because the girls like to tussle girl you think it's cute but i can see a wig cap beyonce would never <laughs> i get it she would never i don't even think she got wig caps girl you can't even see it girl where is the hairline at where do we put it i don't know can you find her 
No. Okay, so now that that's complete, we can go ahead and set up and get to styling this hair. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut and a little bit of a curl. Okay. Um. Wow. <gasps> Y'all look. Like, come on. Are we okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and comb out this hair because next we need to get to cutting. Y'all know I love me a good self layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this hair. There was a good amount of shedding um, and some breakage on the ends. As you can tell, these ends, girl, they need help, girl. They are hollering for help. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my hair. Y'all know how I like to cut across the bottom. And I just cut, I'm gonna cut right there. I don't really cut off that much. Actually, the ends weren't too bad. They just weren't even. Y'all know how I like even ends. We need to do the hair at the top and the side. So I'm gonna take this hair. Just gonna pull it up. Girl, I really do feel like I'm playing in my natural hair. It's giving Jalulu over here because <laughs> I'm convinced that I'm styling my natural hair at this point. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this all up here. Right, so we can do the size, and we're just gonna go ahead and cut that down. And the point is to get layers so we get more movement, we get more body. I should start at the top, girl. What was I thinking? Okay, so we're gonna start at the top. Gonna brush all the hair forward, but I'm not trying to mess up this little hairline situation I got, so I'm just gonna pull it forward like this. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut, and then I point cut. Then I take this section and then I pull it on back. And then lastly, we do one more cut. And that's like the bangish area. Perfect. Now I'm gonna cut this like a tad bit shorter chin area, like a little bit lower than the chin area. Girl, it's giving very much stylist. Come to me with your hair washed. It's giving very much pay an online deposit. Yeah. Pull all this hair back up so we can do the sides. I'm just gonna pull it back in a clip. So it's out of the way and I'm just gonna do the sides. So I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna use like this part as a guide though. Cause I already cut this part. Take this hair and I'm just gonna pull it forward and cut it. So this is the shortest length and I'm just gonna use that to cut a long layer. Wow, you really can't tell because this is so much hair. <laughs> you can't tell what's going on. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side and then we're gonna get to blow drying. Okay, the hair is cut. Uh, I just love it when I cut hair because there's so much more movement. So next, we need to go ahead and blow dry this hair. Is it uneven? Like, what's happening here? I'm gonna go ahead and use my Revlon One Step to blow dry this hair. It usually does a pretty good job of just stretching it out a little bit. Now, I'm not trying to get the hair completely straight. I'm just trying to get the hair to look just to prep it for curling. Cause you already know, we about to bring out that cheese spinning curl girl. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use this uh, Shea Moisture Flyaway and Wrap Mousse. I'm gonna see if it's gonna help straighten the hair a little bit better. See, this is how I need my mousse to look, Shea Moisture. It's gonna add it to the hair and then blow dry it. I wonder if it'll help to blow dry it just a little bit faster and better because usually it just takes a little bit longer. So I guess we'll see, let's try it. Wow, that was super duper quick. I'm so happy. Girl, I'm using all these new products. I love how it's coming together. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna keep blow drying all throughout the head and then we're gonna get to curling.
Okay y'all, so the hair is completely, well it's not straight, it's blow dry. So now all we have to do is curl it. Now I was gonna straighten it then curl it, but that's a lot. I just want to keep the texture. Now I'm gonna curl using my cheese spinner curl, you already know. This girl's gonna pop up out the corner cause you know she is that girl. She knows when it's her time to show up center stage and this is it, girl look. I'm gonna clip up this side. Boom, and we're gonna work on this side and curl. I'm just gonna clip this hair up and we're gonna work in teeny tiny sections. So I have this on 410 degrees. There you go. That'd be the trick, don't go up to the roots cause it starts to get tangled. So I'm curling away from the, fa from the face and I'm curling for 19 seconds. Let me add a little extra umph on there. Yeah, the only thing about kinky straight hair, and I say this all the time, is that it doesn't really hold a curl. All I need her to do is hold a wave. She don't have to hold a curl, all she has to do is hold a wave. We're gonna continue to work through the hair, get these curls going, and I will see y'all once we get to the other side of the head. I'm gonna try, I'm pr trying not to do too big of a section because you get better curls, so. Let's just keep going all the way through the head. Y'all, this is a finished look. Look, I had to recurl the hair because kinky straight hair, y'all, if y'all don't know, <laughs> you should already know that kinky straight hair don't like to keep a curl girl. She revolts every single time. It is gorgeous, it is fluffy. I probably shouldn't have put um, that mousse in there because it's making the hair like a little bit, I can feel like the residue from the product. But look at the material. Shout out to AD, look at the material. And my makeup? Period. But this hairline, shout out to Tom Ford. Girl, yes. So let's go ahead and get into some styles and then I'll be back. Now let's take this wig for a test drive and see what she can do. So the styles that I wanted to do obviously are gonna be updos and I need to start with my favorite updo, which is the half up, half down. It was really easy to do with the little tendrils and it looks so good and that hairline is eating. Of course I need to pull those antennas back because I wanted to see what this hairline was really giving and look how it looks like it's growing out of my scalp. That lace did not disappoint. Now the next style I wanted to try was a full up ponytail. Now I gotta be honest with you, that back, girl, you can't, you gotta make sure that hair cover the back of the head because you gonna see everything in the back. But the front looks super duper cute and I wanted to see what it looked like with the tendrils as well. It's a fun little messy hairstyle and I can imagine if you put a little clip in the back, it'd be super duper cute. And lastly, we have ourselves a little bun. Now I had to cover up that back cause baby my whole cornrows was out in the back. Now y'all let me know which one is your favorite style. Now let's get into my final thoughts. On this wig, now this is a pre-everything Bye Bye Knots wig. Let's see if she's given what they said that she was supposed to give. So this is, it says pre-everything and yes, it is pre-plucked, it is pre-bleached knots, it is pre-cut lace, and it's a pre-plucked hairline. So it is pre-everything. The knots did go bye-bye. <laughs> Girl, they're not here, they're not home, they're never coming back. Now is this really a Bye Bye Knots put on and go with. I would say yes-ish because y'all already know I gotta use lace tint. I just can't put this on and leave my lace looking the way it is. It's gonna give very much halo. I really don't fancy looking like an extra in Charmed. So I do think this is the closest that a frontal can get to put on and go. Cause I don't know who, who lets their frontal fly in the wind? Like who, who was out here with wings? Let me say the cons. The hair was dry at the ends. It definitely needed a trim. And obviously, like I said before, it definitely needed, it needed lace tint. So it needed a little bit of something to make the wig look more like it's fit for me. I really am not an advocate for you pulling a wig out of the box and plopping it on your head. I know the clock app make the girls think that you can do that, but you can't. It's rare that you can do that and it look good. Y'all have asked me to grade hair before and grade wigs. I would grade this wig a nine out of 10. I would definitely say a nine out of 10. I was fully impressed with this lace. It was more effortless than I ever imagined. I actually was kind of a little nervous because sometimes the wearing goes, don't be wearing and going. Loved it, I wanna say shout out again to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video because they did a big one with this one. Y'all tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? Do you like these sort of wigs? Let me know what you're thinking. Also, let me know which style was your favorite. I would say mine 
was the high ponytail with the tendrils in the front. <laughs> Thank you again, like I said, to Nadula Hair. I will leave a link for this wig down below. I also will leave a coupon code down below for your purchasing pleasure, friend. Because the, the cart looks a little bit different when you got a percentage off. So y'all go ahead and check that out. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.